And with that, I'd like to turn it over to my friend from Kentucky. Thank you, Marjorie. Marjorie did a great uh, job of going through where what we think all the money is going to, or what they say all the money is going to. This resolution is about finding out exactly where that money has gone. The American support, American voters, taxpayer support for what we're doing in Ukraine is withering. There have been 18 to 19 votes on this issue of Ukraine in the last year. It's getting hard to count, though, now, because they don't have individual votes on this money. In the beginning, if we were going to rattle a saber or uh, impose a sanction that actually hurts Americans as much or more than it would hurt Russia or do anything to have an effect on this war, they would have an individual vote. And when the last time they had an individual vote was on 40, roughly $40 billion, there were 56 members of Congress who voted against that. But the support has eroded since then among Americans, so much to the, to the point that the last time Pelosi passed this money, she connected it, and I, I think this is really despicable, she connected it to the disaster relief to Florida. Think about that. In order to provide relief to people who were victims of a disaster in Florida, you had to increase the chance of nuclear disaster by sending money to Ukraine and throwing fuel on this fire. She plans to do the same thing again, I hear. They're not, we're not going to have an up or down vote on whether to send more taxpayer dollars to Ukraine. We're going to have, she's going to include it with response to viruses and response to more uh, tropical storms and hurricanes. It's all going to be in there. So that if you don't vote for this, then you can, she will go out and have a press conference like she did last time and say, well, the Republicans didn't vote to help these people. I want to put, uh, put out some numbers here for you so you can compare what we're, what we're talking about, the amount of money that we're talking about. We're talking about billions, not millions. And I've been fact-checked on this, so don't bother fact-checking it now. We've survived the fact-check. We've spent more in Ukraine, the U.S. Congress has, than we spend on all of our roads and bridges in an entire year. The entire infrastructure of this country, the roads and bridges, the real infrastructure. We don't spend as much on that here as we've spent on Ukraine in nine months. I think that's despicable. Our priorities are all out of whack. And I'll, I'll finish with this. We're trying to get the documents here to find out where the money went. What we really need is a full audit. I hope when we take the majority, we will get a full audit. We need an inspector general. In Afghanistan, we were spending about $50 billion a year, five zero billion dollars a year. John Sacco was the uh, special inspector general of the <coughs> Afghan reconstruction there because also it, you know, they call it reconstructive money, they call it military money, just like Ukraine. It's all a big pool of money. Uh, and the waste, fraud, and abuse in Afghanistan was epic. Every report that he put out showed that our money was being wasted and going to fraud. And they know if they get an inspector general who has the credentials of somebody like John Sopko, we're going to find the same thing in Afghanistan. And it's high time to stop sending any more money. Don't send another penny to Ukraine and to start auditing where the money went. 